So, lovely sunny day, out for a ride on Trini as always, and uh, I'm hungry, so it must be time for a Tim's Taste Tips. <music> So oh, we're in Epping Forest. Uh, I'm busy making a, another video for the GTRO gearbox and I got hungry and here we are. I'm going to cook up a small beef steak on a bed of mixed beans and mushrooms with rosemary and garlic. It's one that I've cooked several times now and I really enjoy it. Right, better make a start then. I'm not going to get any less hungry, am I? So I'm sitting on my Trekmates um, ground sheet again. Uh, just noticed that that's actually got some grommets in the corners over there. So I could peg it down if it got a little bit windy, but uh, today it's so still and calm I don't think I'll bother. But uh, yeah, I hadn't noticed them before, so that's an extra plus for this. Besides being nice and thick and waterproof. So even in the winter I can sit on it without getting a wet bum. Right, let's get this set up and get cooking. As always, I'm going to make a coffee first, I think. Right, something new to show you. This little stove, very similar to my last one. This is the Coleman 7000. As the name suggests, it's from Coleman. Another little gas stove screws in exactly the same as the one before. But I got this one having watched a fellow YouTuber's video, Gaziano Outdoors. Cheers for this one, Gaz. He persuaded me to buy one of these. I shall leave a link to his video in the description below because he describes it far better than what I ever could. But. Uh, the idea with this one is it's got a wider flame. Obviously the flame covers more of the bottom of the pan so we're, we're going to simmer on a wider base rather than cooking just in the middle like the old one did. I've still got the old one. I still might use it on occasions but uh, for this meal in particular a wider flame is going to be very welcome. Right, so that's Trini put in the way. There's a tiny little breeze blowing across there and I think just to be on the safe side, we'll put Trini in the way. That'll help us a little bit, I think. So let's get this started up. Again, starts the same way as the old, old stove did. Turn the gas bottle on and it's got its own little electric spark. There we go. You can't see that it's lit at all in that camera, but believe me it is. I can feel the heat on my hands. I forgot to bring my little stand. Let's see if we can put it in there without spilling it everywhere. That might hold it a bit steadier. That's it. Yes, I left the house in a rush this morning. Not only have I forgotten my little plastic stand for the gas bottle, I've also forgotten my spatula. But we've got a knife and fork, so we'll have to make do with that. Don't you melt my handles. I know what you're doing. There. For you coffee connoisseurs out there, 
Yeah, we've got plain old Nescafe original. <laughs> God, I'll have to get some better coffee for this. Oh well, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Quite a powerful little stove. My only concern is how quickly it will use the gas. But there we go, if it's doing the job. As you can see, it's starting to boil that water very, very quickly indeed. rolling boil I think that took all of about one minute and 30 seconds I'll have to time it when I get home on the video let you guys know exactly how long that took to get a boil weren't long though was it I'm impressed with that stove I really am cheers for that one guys right so first things we have to do for this little meal is get the steak cooked Put my coffee over there out of the way so we don't spill it carefully. Right. Now my steak of choice today was sirloin. Just a small steak. This is lunch after all. Maybe I'd go for something a bit larger if it was uh, evening time and I was cooking my dinner. Good, right, let's get the pan on. There we go, one little sirloin steak. Nice bit of fat on there as well. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. There's literally no spices, herbs, no seasonings at all on that steak. I'm just cooking it straight out of the packet. Obviously it's cooked to your own taste. I like my steaks fairly well done. Oh, that coffee's hot. Not be surprising really, is it? I wish I had my little spatula. Never mind. It's getting it nicely sealed in here. It's so much easier with this new stove to simmer. You don't have to have it rip roaring away. Um, in my last taste tips with the chili, you could barely hear my voice over the stove if you can remember. Um, but this one, yeah, it's a lot quieter. Even on full belt, it's a lot quieter. Right. I'm going to leave that to cook for a moment. I 
I think I need to bring another cup, cup for my coffee. I don't like this one. It gets um, very, very hot on your bottom lip when you're trying to sip your coffee. I think I need another mug. Not impressed with that one, really. Remind me next time to bring another mug. Oh, smells gorgeous. Would have been nice to do it over a proper fire, of course, but um, not allowed fires in Epping Forest. In fact, you're not allowed fires in most of the UK. Hey ho. One day I'll go somewhere where I can have a fire and cook over an open fire, hey. I'd like that. So the other ingredients that are going with this meal, I might as well show you that whilst the steak's cooking, are in this tub. We've got some chopped garlic with fresh rosemary, all chopped up in there. Yeah, that's right, rosemary, fresh rosemary with chopped garlic, a couple of cloves of garlic in there. Then there's half a dozen chopped mushrooms. And underneath that is what came in a tin of, you'll see it better when we tip it out, but they're, um, it's a five bean salad by the supermarket in tins. I prefer to take it out of the tin and uh, give it a rinse before I bring it out. And uh, Never very appetizing is it, that sludge that's in the tin when you empty a tin out. I'd rather add just a little bit of fresh water with it if it needs it when I'm cooking. Wonder how much longer that steak needs. Some of you will be screaming, it's done, it's done! Uh, I do like my steaks, as I say, fairly well done. Sorry guys. Many of you would consider that ruining a good steak, I'm sure. I can't eat it any other way. Just went to check on the GoPro, it's doing a nice little time lapse for me. Well, I hope it'll be a nice little time lapse. If it's any good, you'll see it. If not, you won't. Right. I think that's done then, yes. Okay, let's take it out. Leave that to stand for a minute. Oh, I'll knock the camera. Right, next thing then. I've taken the pan off because it was obviously getting too hot on there. I'm going to throw my rosemary and garlic in the pan. There we go. 
Oh, that smell. It's wonderful. Fresh rosemary and garlic. Try it sometime, guys. That smell is gorgeous. Especially when you're hungry. <laughs> so we're just going to let that cook for 30 seconds on a low heat. I think that stove is about as low as I can get it to go now. Mm, possibly a little bit lower. I don't know. That'll do. Right. Now we get the other ingredients. The mushrooms and the beans. Did that just go out? No. I thought I'd heard it go out. Let's turn it up a bit. The wind is blowing it. I'm a bit worried it might go out and I don't notice. But Right. Mushrooms and the beans. No, I just want to add a little bit of, just a tiny little bit of water to that. There we go. Just added the water to stop the rosemary and garlic from burning onto the bottom of the pan. Now ideally, I suppose, you'd have a lid to put on this now and just leave that to simmer for five minutes. All we're doing is heating it through. There's no more need to cook it any more than just warming it through, make it nice and hot. Then we'll be good to go. But uh, obviously if we had a lid, that would speed that up a little bit. But I don't have my lid on me today. Another thing that I forgot when I rushed out of the house this morning. Ah, well, I'm sure it'll taste just as nice. I cooked this indoors once, oh, a couple of months ago now, and it's funny, but it never tastes as nice indoors as it does when you're outside, does it? Just tasted like ordinary food at home, but when you're out and about, oh, it's wonderful. Cool, I can smell that rosemary coming through. was asking the wife if we had any rosemary yesterday for this shit. Rosemary with beef? I suppose it is a little bit strange really, but uh, give it a go. You'd be surprised. And that there we go then guys that one was easy wasn't it pan fried steak on a bed of mushrooms and five bean salad with rosemary and garlic give it a go sometime tell me what you think Personally, it's one of my favourites. I love it. Right, I'm going to tuck into that now. Oh, let's just cut into this steak and see how well done it is. Oh, I hope it's not pink. I don't like it when it's pink. Oh, it's pink. <laughs> oh, well. Do you know what? 
I'm going to try it pink for a change and we'll see. We'll see what it tastes like, shall we? But it's not that bad at all, actually, is it? It's just the idea of eating pink meat, I don't know. Ever since I was a little boy, I just never liked the idea of it. I bet it tastes wonderful. Yeah, it tastes wonderful. Oh. Right, I'm going to sit here in the sun and enjoy the rest of this and then finish off my gearbox video whilst this sun is shining. Oh, it's wonderful, guys. Nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, like I say, give it a go sometime if you feel like it and let me know how you got on with it. I think it's well worth a try. Cheers then guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da!